Hello, this is uh, Boomy from Frisk Inc. And I have seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of users uh, complaining uh, on YouTube, on the forums, and uh, other places of the stuttering issue that uh, they're having. And I've experienced the same thing. Uh, hearthing to uh, a new location, uh, my load bar would sometimes take uh, a minute, minute and a half to load. Uh, uh, traveling, uh, the frame would like jerk, 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 jerk. Uh, sometimes uh, clicking on something would cause a stutter. Uh, partic it was particularly bad in raids. Uh, once a raid would start, um, it would jerk, jerk, jerk uh, whenever a lot of effects would come out. And uh, the end result was either, you know, you prayed that you got control of your character back before you died, or you died because you were unable to react to a raid mechanic, which was extremely frustrating. So, <clears throat> anyways, uh, as you can see, it's pretty prevalent uh, on the forums, you know, 10 pages right here, uh, that, uh, you know, I'm not the only one having this issue. And I found a solution, and I'm going to explain, you know, or at least a workaround. And I'll explain my thoughts regarding this, and then I'll explain how, uh, you know, you could potentially fix it for yourself. Now, I have a nice um, system. It isn't like complete top of the line, but it's it's pretty good. It's a uh, uh, eight core, four gigahertz system with a GTX 980 and uh, Windows 10 64-bit professional, which is a decent enough system to provide a really good uh, experience in Warcraft. So when Legion came out, uh, you know, I was, I was really surprised that, you know, I was having all these uh, performance issues. Well, being that uh, I'm a programmer, I began, you know, monitoring my system to try and see if I could figure out, you know, where this problem was and I noticed that when um, there was a tremendous amount of stuttering there was also a large amount of IO requests or hard drive access uh, in layman's terms and one thing that my system does have is it has one of the um, older mechanical drives it does not have a solid state drive so I began, you know, looking into, uh, you know, when the stuttering happened, and it always correlated to uh, heavy hard drive access. Basically, the game was trying to uh, stream data from the data files, and they're huge data files, um, all over the hard drive. And uh, it's basically sending out more I.O. requests than the hard drive is able to uh, fetch in a uh, reasonable amount of time and when that happens then the game lags and pauses until uh, the data catches up. Now a mechanical hard drive has an arm that moves you know and it has to actually move to the spot on your hard drive where that that data is. So if if you have the game you know loading you know thousands of little bits of data from all over your hard drive uh, that hard drive has to physically move. The arm in that hard drive has to physically move. My thought was that, okay, well perhaps uh, going to a solid state drive uh, would be better because a solid state drive doesn't have um, uh, any physical arm that moves. It's all digital, which means that uh, the data is just instantly there. Uh, the the I/O uh, the I/O uh, that the uh, solid state can do is much higher than what a um, a mechanical can do. So I didn't have a I didn't have a solid state, but uh, I did. Uh, I thought, well, I could actually uh, test this with a flash drive, and uh, this is the one I got, and I got it at state. It's actually on sale at Staples for twenty nine, though online it's thirty nine. And uh, the old flash drives uh, would have been a very poor choice for this, uh, but the new flash drives are basically um, they have the solids, the, they have the SSD controllers on them, 
and they include wear leveling and they'll survive a lot more writes than the old ones will and they're much much tremendously faster than than the old flash drives so uh, I got uh, I picked up this uh, 128 gigabyte USB it's a USB 3 um, USB 2 will not work it'll be you know very slow and uh, I made sure that it had 150 megabyte uh, uh, read throughput. I copied the game basically in short I copied the game to the uh, to the USB and uh, changed the Battle.net launcher to the new location on the USB drive and it totally solved the stuttering. Not only did it solve the, solve the stuttering but my game performance just was just tremendously better. Um, I went from like minute load times sometimes from the loading bar, you know, going across the screen like say when you hearth um, to, you know, three to eight seconds. I mean, it was that significant. And uh, when I'd go into a raid, you know, when, when, the, when the battle would start, you know, previously it would like lag, 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 lag. Um, you know, sometimes for as long as 30 seconds before seeming to catch up, and then, and then, uh, you know, I could participate. And now, you know, off off of this uh, thumb drive, uh, it's it's instant. Uh, I don't lag at all. As soon as the raid starts, everything is just smooth as silk, and that includes 40 man raids. So, you know, there's. I, what I believe is happening is I believe that the Warcraft game, um, you know, they've upped the graphics, they've upped uh, the textures. Uh, there's a lot more data to load. Uh, when you travel, when the game has to fetch, you know, data um, on demand. And I think that the game is uh, not caching properly. So it's sending too many I.O. requests. Um, that these older hard drives, you know, with these older mechanical hard drives cannot keep up. So the um, solution to this problem is, one, Blizzard has to uh, work on the caching of their game, you know, like a low priority thread that would fetch, uh, you know, potential graphics that uh, you might encounter depending on which way you move or, or what effects you might experience in a raid. Um, the other, but who knows how long that's going to take for them to, to fix that. The other option is um, you can purchase a SSD, which is probably the best option, or if you're not in a position where you can open your computer or don't feel comfortable with it, um, you can. what you can do is you can purchase a uh, USB stick. Um, a 64 gigabyte would work, but I strongly recommend at least a 128 gigabyte, you know, for room for patches. And the other two things that are absolutely essential is it needs to be a USB 3 drive and uh, you want, uh, you know, to have at least a 150 megabyte uh, uh, read throughput, you know, so it can fetch that data quickly. And then thirdly, uh, you need to make sure that you plug that drive into a USB 3 port on your computer. Uh, I accidentally plugged mine into a USB 2 port initially, and I was like, man, this is just so slow. You know, slower than I was even expecting, and then I was like, oops, you know, okay. That isn't, uh, I should have uh, paid more attention. So, make sure it's a, a USB 3.0 port uh, in your computer. Now, uh, for those that uh, want to do this, um, you know, it's up to you. You can you can wait for Blizzard to fix, or you can install an SSD, or um, you know you can if you want to try this. And there's no guarantees. It worked perfectly for me, but you know your mileage may vary. You know, or you could pick up a, a cheap USB stick. You know, uh, in the neighborhood of about thirty bucks. And uh, this is this is basically uh, the way I did it. Uh, first of all. Uh, uh, I had to, um, I plugged in the USB stick into a USB port and uh, it shows up as, as a drive letter. You click on this PC, this and this is instructions for Windows 10. You click on this PC and then you find your USB stick and in my case it's, it's a Lexar. So um, I click on that 
and I don't care about any of the software on it. Uh, but I don't want it to run. Normally, uh, USB sticks come with FAT32, and uh, for large files, that's not very good. So I format it. And by the way, if you format a USB stick, you're going to lose, you know, any existing data on it is going to be erased because it's, you know, a fresh format. And I change EX, EXFAT or NTFS is generally um, the. Uh, the choices. My preference is for e, for NTFS, and then make sure quick format is checked, and then f format. And that actually that shouldn't take very long, because uh, it's a, it's a quick format. The next thing you're going to need to do, and there we go, it finished is we have to find out where um, Warcraft is installed so that we can copy it um, to our new USB drive. So to do that you go to your Battle.net launcher and you go up here to the corner you click settings and then you come down here to game install update and this is what you want right here. It'll say World of Warcraft Legion. And this is the path. Now, for most of you, it's going to probably be C, the C drive, not the G drive. And it'll say like program files or program files uh, slash 86 or x86 uh, and World of Warcraft. But whatever, whatever, wherever this is, just go ahead and write that down if you can't remember it. Because uh, we're going we're gonna to need that path. So go ahead and hit done. Now it's it's very very important that we close. Make sure that Warcraft is not running, and that we close the launcher. Uh, if Warcraft is running while while we try to copy uh, Warcraft to a new location, um, it can corrupt uh, data on your new copy, which you don't want. So make sure that's down. Now, like I said, most of yours is going to be on C and Program Files x86, and the Warcraft folder will be in there. But uh, in my case, it's on the G drive. Now, the next step here is, is really important. Um, go ahead and click on View, and you need to check Hidden Items. Now, the reason this is so important is because the World of Warcraft folder has like about four hidden hidden files in that folder and if we do not copy those then the uh, Battle.net launcher will refuse to accept your copy of World of Warcraft. You can manually launch it but like Battle.net won't update it um, it'll say like you got some wrong version of Warcraft so uh, make sure that you click on view you click on hidden files then you can click on World of Warcraft, right click, and choose copy. Then we go down to our new drive, which is uh, the Lexar drive I, in my case, uh, which we formatted to NTFS, and it's ready to go. And then uh, left click that, and then right click into this folder, and choose paste. And when I choose paste, uh, that's going to copy uh, my World of Warcraft. So, and this is going to take a while, so you might as well get yourself a cup of coffee. You know, it could take, depending on the speed of your computer and your flash drive, um, it could take anywhere from, you know, a half hour to an hour on average. And if you have a really slow USB stick, then you know, it could take a lot longer. And again, I don't recommend doing this on one of the older USB sticks because um, your gameplay is really just going to be kind of painfully slow. So now, so just let it finish copying. In my case, I'm going to cancel because I already copied it. The iDrive is just a second uh, USB stick I put in there for demonstration purposes. So. Anyways, once it's once it's finished copying, uh, you'll have the World of Warcraft folder in there. And G Drive is my first USB stick where I copied it from the 
from the hard drive. Then uh, once once you got it copied, now we need to tell Battle.net where your new where your new copy of World of Warcraft is loaded. So we go into Battle.net. Let that come up. And we're going to go back to settings. And then we're going to come down to game install updates and World of Warcraft Legion. And I would have been the new folder where I copied it. So we would choose use different folder. And then we would go to the iDrive. And then we would choose World of Warcraft. And double click to enter there. And then you would just click select folder. And once you click select folder, um, that's it. And then you would hit done. And then you'll close your Battle.net launcher and restart it. And once you've done that, you're done. You've moved your, you've moved your new copy of uh, World of Warcraft. And at least in my case, the performance is night and day. Um, just complete night and day. So uh, I hope... Uh, I hope this is of help to some of you um, that have been having the stuttering issue. The uh, as far as as far as the uh, flash drive goes, uh, yes, the SSDs are a much better option. Uh, they're faster, and uh, you know they're they're really more designed for this. But the if 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 you're in a situation where you can't take apart your computer. Uh, or you don't have the money for an SSD, you know, and you manage to get one of these high-speed ones, you know, on sale, uh, like I did uh, for 29 bucks. Then, uh, you know, this is this this is a cheap way, you know, you could you could test to see if this works. You know, you buy an SSD and this doesn't work, then you know, you're out whatever. But uh, you know, you get a little USB stick, and and these new ones support wear leveling, so actually it you know it should last a long time and I actually got a two-year extended warranty on this uh, for like two bucks at Staples so this will this should work uh, and uh, in the comments uh, uh, if you like this let, let me know and uh, if you try this uh, in the comments let me know because the more people that try this you know the more people can say hey this works hey this doesn't work um, and I'd like to know if this uh, solves uh, a lot of your issues. With me, this solved you know so many game issues, uh, particularly speed and stuttering. It's just night and day, and uh, rating is now a dream compared to a nightmare. So uh, this is Boomy from Fizzcrank, and uh, I'm just sharing my experiences. And I hope this helps you all uh, with this uh, Warcraft stuttering workaround till Blizzard uh, manages to find a fix. Uh, good luck.